Hello, this is Russell over here at Doodaddle Widget Works. Today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, quick estimate numbers. So let's go ahead and get started and open up our Muse web page that we left off with toggles. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, open up a new number. Just pop that on the canvas. Similar to the toggles, numbers can be scaled to fit whatever type layout you need. In this case, we're just going to make something a little bit smaller there. And if we go into the options panel here, you'll have a name, um, which can be anything you'd like. You have a starting number, so if you wanted to start your numbers at 5, five you could easily do that. Order radius, obviously. and Transition speed is going to be from the speed from the non-selected color into the hover color. As well as into focus zoom if you do decide to have that on. You have some options for fonts here. Um, you're not limited to what's here and I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, this is a tuck, the text default color and this is going to be the text hover color. So let's go ahead and um, preview this to browser just the way we see it here. Let's see what we get. And we have the the zoom focus on which is kind of a nice little feature that you can add. It increases the size just for entry and then as you back off it uh, zooms back out. You can see there's a value that's showing up. Um, we didn't place that in there yet because I already have uh, this name within the totals widget as a default. So if we go in here and under number one, which is the actual name of this numbers module, um, we can change the value for that. Now within the totals module, you have five, up to five different options for adding values to a number. You may just use one, you may use a few, um, but you could also use, say if something has a similar value, say if it's uh, 20 bucks and you have five of these that you want to have as $20, that'll all work. So I'm just cut and paste a bunch here. Um, as long as these are all the same name, they're going to have that same value. But they add in differently. So let me zero these out. And you can use tabs. All right. So everything's zeroed out. So you can have 20 here. 20 over here, 20 here, and then add a toggle in, and that will change the price differently as well, depending on what your value is set up for in the toggle. And if you wanted a different value for a different number, you just have to change the name. So we'll go bring this guy up here. We're going to change this to number two. And that's done. We'll go into our totals module and change this name to number two. And we'll put a value of $100 here, or a value of 100. So go ahead and let's preview that to browser. This should be 500. Oh, we got, I got it. Since I put a default value in there, so it should be 500 for with five. <clears throat> I'll get rid of these, and we'll go ahead and preview that to browser. So now it's giving you a look and feel of the same 
looking to be the same type style as the toggle. This is a value of 1, 20, and 4. The one last styling option that you can do, um, if you notice, you don't have the option here for a font. Um, you can easily go into text within Adobe Muse and choose out any font you'd like. So it makes that nice and easy for you. Let's go ahead and choose something. So if you prove that to browser, you will keep that font in there, giving you lots of different styling options. Well, thank you for uh, tuning in. Um, the next video I'm going to have out is going to be for the radios and the finally the totals. If you have any questions about Quick Estimate, Feel free to drop me an email. Uh, my email is russ at doodaddle.com. Thank you for watching and have a great day.